One new feature addition to 3D Coat 2025 is soft booleans throughout the sculpt workspace where booleans or cutting operations are applicable. Previously, we did have some soft boolean functionality built into the cutoff tool when working in surface mode, but that is also available now in voxel mode. So let's go ahead and take a quick look at it. I have a few different objects here a column and a sphere, and it's just gonna be a simple example for now. In this example, I want to use a column as a cutting object, and instead of sharp edges, I want 3D Coat to soften the edges. Let me right click on this column. I'm gonna go down to the Soft Booleans Settings option. Click on that, and I can enable Use Soft Booleans for voxels. And we can also apply it again in surface mode as well. But in this case, they are both voxel objects. The important option is take voxel booleans radius from the brush. It's going to use my brush radius as the bevel radius, if you will. So I'll click OK. Now I want to perform a subtraction operation here by right clicking and I can choose to subtract from. I'll click this pick icon. And now I can pick the sphere. And we can see how that created soft booleans around that cut. So let me undo. I'll reduce my brush size. Right clicking and dragging to the left will make it smaller. And we'll do it again. I'll right click and I'll choose subtract from sphere. We can see that soft edge is much smaller in radius. If we wanted to clean this up, since we have soft edges anyway, we could simply hit smooth all and give it a value of maybe five. And let's do that now. I'll scroll down to the bottom and click smooth all. And I'll hit OK. Also, we can refine it even more to give it more resolution by right mouse button clicking and then choosing to resample. And we can arbitrarily pick a number if we want. But we could also just increase the resolution with this icon here, clicking that. OK. So I'll hide that example. I have another sphere. And this time we're going to use the primitives tool. So I will move this. And we have the soft booleans option here also. And once more, we can use our brush radius to set the bevel radius, or we can set the value numerically here. Let's make it a small amount, okay. And if I want to apply it, I can hit the apply button. Let's undo. And let's go ahead and check, take voxel booleans radius from the brush. Let's go ahead and hit apply. And we can see that's a much broader blend between the two objects. So let's hit undo. And I'll reduce my brush size once more down to a very small amount. I'll hit apply. We can see how that works. I'm going to switch scenes now and I want to demonstrate using the cutoff tool with soft booleans. Just as we did previously, I can check take voxel boolean radius from the brush size. And I'm going to create some shapes here on this bumper. I'll hit the E key and choose a shape. I've already pre-adjusted the edge radius here in the E panel, but you could also do it by holding down the R key as you create the shape. But I'm just going to go ahead and get started here. As I'm drawing the shape, if I need, I can use my 3D connection device to rotate the object itself, or I can rotate the shape as I'm drawing it by holding down the Alt key. And I will just go ahead and release my mouse. It cut all the way through, and in some cases that may be what you want, but obviously you can see sometimes it's not. 
I should have been in orthographic view to begin with, but this time I'm going to use on plane to pre-select the distance that it cuts. I'll choose plane is defined by a right mouse button, but I also want to pick the point and use the local direction under the brush. Okay, I'm right mouse button clicking to set the plane. To push it forward away from the camera, I can click here or I can pull it back toward the camera. So I'll click that. Okay, so I think that'll be fine. And now I'm ready to create my shape. Release the pressure on my stylus. Okay, so I can see that it's already created that shape now. And I will use the left bracket key to reduce the brush size. A smaller brush radius is going to create a sharper edge, so I need to make sure I have enough resolution for that by clicking on this increase res icon at the bottom of the scope tree layer panel. I'll create the shape again. Release the pressure on my stylus. All right, and that should conclude this look at using soft booleans with voxels in 3D Coat. Thank you for watching and we will see you next time.